So let's go ahead and take uh, Jim Lee. How you doing? Doing good. How have you been, Val? Oh, I've been hanging in there, brother. So uh, what's the latest on your end? I've been wanting to get get back with you. Oh, I've been busy, busy. I got, uh, I've been working on my actual website, uh, resonated.com. It's like my personal website, kind of like a portal to everything I do. Right. And um, I've worked up a section for a uh, weather modification harp. Um, I got a little bit on mind control in there. I'm still working on it. And like I say, you know, it's still um, very early, but lots wow. of uh, really shocking information there for uh, those interested in the topic. And I, I think everybody should be given the weather lately. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, um, just something to throw out there. What, what I find most interesting right now is, you know, with all of the claims of Frankenstorm and you know the the, the evidence that I documented as well as many other people have documented that, you know, the Department of Homeland Security is involved in hurricane mitigation as well as the insurance companies, Raytheon, NOAA, NASA. Um, they're all involved in weather modification. Um, ever since Katrina, the Department of Homeland Security has been, you know, researching how to mitigate hurricane damage. Um, with all this going on, and then hearing about the billions of dollars worth of uh, bonds that were destroyed in New York, and uh, hearing about how they're not going to allow people to rebuild, you know, their homes because. You know, it's just, it all sounds way too convenient to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm curious if anybody out there uh, could look into the, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and look into the NADEX, into something called weather derivatives or environmental event contracts, and huh. see if, if anybody pulled out an environmental event contract just prior to Sandy making landfall because if you can show that somebody's pulling out an event contract and they have a hand in modification of the weather, then you've got yourself a very interesting tale. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. But what? I'm sure the information is clearly there for anybody willing to look. Right, right, exactly, exactly. So, um you got any you got anything uh new on the sinkhole? Um I just I just updated um the, the files on uh Climate Viewer to update to the the most recent um size of the hole. And I did that based on a, a satellite photography that was you know like a top down shot, so I've updated that. Tattoo one thousand uh tattoo on um YouTube is uh it's T A T O O T T one thousand nine. He's got a video up about uh, they're currently burning off um, the gas, so they've got several vent wells dri drilled and they're burning all that gas off. Oh wow! And I believe CNN I, I, and don't quote me on this, but somebody told me that CNN is now running the story that it could be like a hundred Fukushima's if it blows up. Yeah. So, I heard that, you know, that happened, but I, I haven't actually seen it. Right, right. Yeah, I've heard, heard all kinds of stories, too. But, you know, either way, it's pretty volatile over there and very dangerous situation. Yeah. And, and like I said, you know, I've, I've been so busy. Um, I'm working on a Climate Viewer, my my um, my weather modification documentary website. As well, um, there's a big section on HARP. It contains the nine articles I've already previously done on HARP. Plus uh -huh. a whole lot of new stuff, plus exclusive Bernard Eastland's EastlandScience.com brought back from the dead. Um, Bernard Eastland invented harp. He was kind of restricted by a, a probably a, you know some kind of legal agreement to not talk uh -huh. about his patents, and for 15 years he wasn't allowed to. Then he made a website, and on it he basically talks about harp and MEV electrons and how the whole thing works how it can modify the weather, how they can steer tornadoes, and <laughs> all kinds wow. of crazy stuff. So then, you know, he died in 2007. His website is gone. I found wow. it on archive.org. I've, you know, now I'm in conversations with the guy who runs the website. Amazing fellow. Um, so they have all the text backed up for the website. And You're going to bring it back, Jim? Yeah, I've rebuilt the whole website. Wow. 
Here. I've got it's already up on my website. It's resonated.com slash harp. R E Z N A D dot com slash harp. And um I've done uh two two of the pages so far and I've got like six or seven to go. And I mean literally it talks about this thing called Zippa weather and it describes how the cosmic rays coming into the planet in in conjunction with heart is how they modify the weather and all I mean literally it just breaks it all down. So big Jim. up for you know yeah. Yeah, I got a question. Freak out. Yeah, right. I got a question for you. Do you think I've been pondering this for the last couple of days. Do you think Harp can manipulate somehow ley lines? I don't really know what a ley line is. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it's, it's like it's like the energy lines, and it's it's it it, it, it it that starts getting into all the esoteric stuff. You know, right. the well, esoteric let me put it this system. way: I'm not trained in this, but I think you know, I think on a real basic level on mm-hmm. on things, and here and just tell me if this sounds plausible. When you have magnetic field lines that they start in the center of the planet. They go out the North Pole, they bow out into space, they wrap around, they come back in the South Pole. Now, when they come back into the ground, they still have to travel to the center of the Earth. If you've got harp at the base of one of these magnetic field lines and you're vibrating it, you're plucking that harp string, Mm -hmm. that string goes to the center of the planet. It is magnetic. There's iron in the dirt in, in the ground. You follow? I mean, the whole earthquake scenario is not too hard to, you know, to, to say that that's possible when you're talking about altering the magnetic field that protects our planet. And that's what they do with art. They inject electricity into the yeah, electrojet. It, it, yeah, it's the same thing as the they, ley line. And they, they, they create elf um, waves and, gra- and gravity waves even. They're called column waves or repulsor waves or ADEPs or acoustic uh, directed energy pulse trains, ADEPs. Uh-huh. Look it up. Right. There's a there's a, um, a electronic missile um, patent out there. But um, the, these waves that they make, you know, they travel all the way around the world. And the intention is, yeah, we want to talk to submarines. Um, they just want to go beep, beep, and the submarine here on the bottom of the ocean say, Hey, I got I just got the beep beep from Harp. That means I need to come up to the surface so they can send me the real messages. You know, then they come up to the surface, they put their little antenna out and get their encoded, encrypted launch codes or whatever, I imagine. But um mm-hmm. that's what Harp is supposed to be doing, but along with it, there's so much going on. I mean, there's just it's in every direction. They're studying lightning, they're studying transluminous events, these elves and sprites and I mean and, and when you got Bernard Eastland's website saying, yeah, you can probably modify the weather with this. <laughs> and you got a video at the American uh, Meteorological Society where his uh, buddy Jenkins literally says just that, you know, we want to steer, um, tor- you know, kill tornadoes with a solar powered satellite, you know, and then he describes using HARP to shoot electricity up to the ISS, storing it there, putting a laser on ISS and shooting it back down to the ground. That's real right. genius, like Val Kilmer. Three dollars. Yeah, that's creepy. <laughs> yeah, it is creepy. It's creepy, and that's the thing is, um, you know, I mean, the science of harp alone is just creepy. And the more, the more I learn about it, the more I'm seeing, you know, I mean, a lot of esoteric stuff happening, Jim. A lot of stuff. We're seeing vortexes in the sky. We're seeing weird sky phenomena. You know. It was just getting really strange. We saw uh, what blood blood rain here a couple of days ago. You know. Yeah, I've heard about that. The bacteria filled rain, red yeah, rain. Yeah, right. That's right. some creepy stuff. That is creepy. So a lot of well, weird things you know, going on. I mean, on. just just to alleviate a lot of people's worries, it's it's really a combination of everything. I mean, when you uh-huh. got chemtrails, you got shit trails. You got coal factories. You got people dumping. You know, radioactive waste in the ground. You got uh-huh. thin coal spewing methane. You got uh, the North Sea um, methane leak. Nobody even talks about that. That thing leaked 350 million gallons of methane into the atmosphere. Methane is more um, more of a greenhouse gas than anything else. It has more of an effect, in, in, mm-hmm. in, in other words. But 
nobody even talked about that. And that place, you know what they were doing? What? Carbon sequestration. They were doing uh, climate change remediation, geoengineering, to pump right. CO2 into the ground. The damn thing blew, and it shot out 350 million gallons of methane over, like, a three- or four-month period. Nobody even got anything in the news about it, you know? Uh Right, so, right. All, when, that kind of, just that alone, plus, you know, Fukushima constantly kicking out its stink, you know, plus yeah. the, the nuclear war we had during the Cold War, all of the radiation built up from the 2053 nuclear explosions that have already happened. Um, when you add all that up, screw climate change, screw, screw them saying, you know, oh, it's because of this or it's because of that. It's because of the freaking military for the, for the main part. The military has mm-hmm. ruined the world. Secondly, right. factories are ruining the world and planes and stuff like that. Thirdly, there are people modifying the weather to boot. So you've got a screwed up system. You've got people, you know, running computer models that are based on these grandiose ideas that everything's perfect and they're not taking into account all of the factors. Nobody in any college is a god, you know? They they don't yeah. have it all figured out. They don't know the butterfly effect. You don't know right. what all the variables is because it's not a closed system. It's powered by the sun. You know, yeah. so you can't you can't account for everything. You don't even understand it. So don't go modifying right. it. Mm-hmm. That's what scares me. Yeah, exactly. And and to boot, I got the AMA, the World Meteorological Society uh, Organization, you know, and the National Science Foundation, all three. American Meteorological Society, World Meteorological Organization, and the National Science Foundation all say weather modification has not been proven, it's dangerous, and should not be done on a large scale. And then you've got guys like David Keith and Bill Gates doing the Silver Lining Project and all these geoengineering experiments to do solar radiation management to block the sun out to save us from global warming. Uh-huh. What is going on right now is more serious than any shit you're talking about anywhere. And we yeah. all need to act. We need to act right now. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, shout out. I've got three minutes left. i got to get off here, and I'm glad you called in. But I'd like to have you for more time than this, this Jim. <laughs> yeah, i got I got like another week or two worth of coding to do, and then I should have a, a nice little right. break where I'll go around and talk about what I did. And okay, I'll definitely come back on. Let's let's hook up then, and um, I'm always trying to promote your work because it's it's outstanding. And thanks so much, Jim. Thank you. Okay. And er- everybody, my website is resonated.com, r e z n h d dot com, and climateviewer dot com. Uh, Google Earth, 3D map of pollution, nuclear, Big Brother, you name it. Uh, check it out. Thank you, Val. Okay, Jim. All right, guys. Uh, be be sure to check out his stuff. Really, I just can't stress that enough. Um, 